Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter, back with another Xbox Game Pass weekly quest guide. So today we've got a quest that's just appeared for the game Dragon Age Inquisition, and this one's going to be good through next Tuesday, March 30th. We're going to get 200 rewards points for this, and we need to slay 15 enemies in the single player mode, which is a nice change from the last few weeks when we've had to do some multiplayer stuff. Let's just get in and do some easy hack and slash single player stuff. That'll work, right? All right, so we'll go ahead and get this game started. This game does appear to be available on xCloud, so if you have your Android device and want to do some hacking and slashing on there, that is totally a possibility. But I'm playing on the Xbox here, and we'll go ahead and press the start button or the menu button to get started in this game. Now, this one will probably take you about 15 minutes or so to complete, maybe a little bit longer if you want to watch all of the cutscenes. I'm going to be skipping through all of the cutscenes that I can in this and moving through the dialogue pretty quickly, just so that we see the completion a little bit faster. And we're just going to start up a brand new game from the very beginning. So just press A to get started. You can choose whatever sort of character you like. I went with human male and rogue. So I just pressed A a few times to get started as the rogue. And I went over to the left to change the difficulty to casual. That'll make the enemies a little bit quicker and easier to defeat. And that's what we're looking to do in this quest is get 15 of those. Press B when it asks you if you want to do a world state import and then press A to confirm. So we've got a little bit of an introductory cutscene here. Again, to skip through any of the cutscenes in the game, you can press the X button. And sometimes they're stacked, so there are a bunch of them that happen very quickly, and you'll see me kind of skipping through, just sort of mashing the X button to get through things. Press A a couple of times here to confirm your character, and then we'll get started in the game. So just skipping through some cutscenes using the X button there, and we're trying to move on and get into the action, get the action started. And I'm going to be cutting out some of the load times as well during this video, so it may take you a little bit longer. You may have to pause the video to catch up with me, but I don't think anybody really wants to watch the loads. Now, some of these dialogue options, you have to actually choose an option instead of just pressing X. So you're going to move your left stick. I was moving mine up to the upper right and then just pressing A to select whatever dialogue option was at the upper right. That will always work fine. So when we exit that building, we've got just a few more dialogue pieces to skip through. And again, just moving the left stick to the upper right and pressing A to talk to Cassandra. Press X a few more times, and then we'll finally be able to start running around with our character. Although we don't start out with any weapons. So just moving your left stick to run towards this door at the very back. We don't have our swords yet, but we'll get those in just a minute. We've just got to learn a little bit more of the story from Cassandra as we run towards the objective marker. As it says at the bottom of the screen, watch for that objective marker on the compass at the lower left of your screen, and that'll always tell you where to go. So we'll run past these guards and keep heading towards the green rift in the sky. It says we need to get to the rift with Cassandra, so that's what we're heading towards right now. And she tells us a little bit of information along the way that we were basically discovered when we came out of one of the rifts and that there was another female character that came out of the rift along with us. It's a pretty interesting story in this game. Like I said, don't don't feel like you have to skip all the cutscenes. I'm just doing it to save time and make the video a little bit shorter for you all. So we'll run across another bridge and we're just about to get to our first set of enemies here. So as soon as this cutscene is over, we can start pressing our right trigger to attack this enemy. And you can actually just hold it down, like it says there, to continuously attack. So if you want to just hold down your right trigger, you don't have to squeeze it every single time. You want to swing your swords. Drop your weapon. Now. All right. So we got our first enemy defeated just then. I'm not sure if that second one counts or not, but we'll have plenty of enemies in this first area. So even if the ones that Cassandra and the other characters that we meet in a few minutes, even if those don't count for us, you should still have no problem getting 15 in this section. Just try to stay focused on the enemies, get the kills yourself if you can. Sometimes your partners will take them from you, but that's okay. So it looks like we've got three at this point, possibly four, depending on whether that first one counts. 
So we're just going to head west towards the objective marker down this frozen river path at the moment. Make sure you watch your minimap at the lower left. It'll show you red dots, which show where enemies are located. So if you're looking around and not seeing somebody to fight against, watch your minimap. We're going to head up the hill here. And I've never seen this guy jump down off the hill before, but he jumped down right there. So we'll jump down too and go after him. And that'll be our fifth enemy defeated in single player. And I would recommend going after those green guys, those little specters. If you see them, they have a lot lower health than the black enemies. So try to try to take those out first. Because sometimes if your partners are going after them, they'll take them out quickly and you won't uh, necessarily get credit for that. Go for the weaker enemies first and then try to take the stronger ones out second. I think we're at seven right now, so here's another weak specter, and this will be our eighth. And there's actually one over to my left that I missed. So we'll see if we can grab him. All right, so no more enemies to kill, so now we're gonna head up the hill and keep following that objective marker. That always tells us where to go if we get turned around. And again, the objective marker is just at the lower left. It looks like kind of a golden sun or eyeball or something down there. So we're going to pick up some other teammates in this section, but there are some enemies to defeat first, so we're just focusing on the enemies that look like they have the lowest health and trying to attack those first. So we've got some cutscenes here where we're acquiring our other teammates and some dialogue to move through, so I'll just quickly move through all of that. And you'll actually be able to play as these other characters if you want to in just a minute by pressing up and down on the D-pad. I choose to just stay with my initial human character that I picked out, but feel free to play as any of those characters if you want to. At this point, you want to press the A button and jump over the low wall to follow your teammates. And you'll kind of walk along the bank of the river, the frozen rivers down below. Just keep following this path, and we've got four more enemies down here in the frozen river that we can take out. As you're heading down here, it'll ask you to press the select button. So you can press that, and then press B, right trigger, and then you can press the select button again to come out of that camera mode. I didn't find that camera mode overhead to be useful, so I just went back to the, the standard camera mode. So if you're stuck in that, press the select button, and you'll be able to go back to the normal camera. So we're just working on taking out the green spectral enemies first and then working on the stronger enemies. And you can see that I actually completed the quest at this moment. If you if you missed out on some of the enemies, you may not be at 15 yet. So I'm going to proceed a little bit further just in case you need to find some more enemies. Basically just continue on towards the objective marker heading up the hill here. And we'll have a few more to fight up this way. So we're heading towards the Wrath of Heaven, the forward camp. And we've got some more enemies on the hillside on the way up to the camp. So we've got four more right here. I'm not following my own advice at this moment. I'm not taking out the specters first, and you can see them blasting me from the sides. Those are kind of the enemy archers, you might say. So my health is going down. I never actually die during the course of this, though. So I think kind of no matter what you do, you're probably going to be okay. You do have some potions that Cassandra gave you at the beginning, so you could use those. You could go into the menu and use one of those potions if you wanted to. But like I said, I didn't actually die since we're on the casual difficulty. You should be fine to go ahead and knock out your 15 enemies without any deaths, hopefully, and without using any potions. 
So still heading on to the camp, just in case you need a few more enemies. You probably should be at 15 by the time you finish around the rift here. And if you absolutely need to, you could either progress onto the next section to get your last few enemies defeated, or you could possibly restart and go through the, the first part of this, this campaign again. But at this point, I'm going to assume that you've got your 15. So at this point, we'll go ahead and hop over to the Xbox Game Pass app and turn in this quest for the 200 rewards points. And that's going to do it for Dragon Age Inquisition. I hope that worked out well for everybody. We're going to have a guide coming out later for Rise, Son of Rome, and finishing up all of the valor that we need to acquire within that game. So stay tuned for that guide. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.